Well, to speak more about alternative theories surrounding HIV AIDS prevention, I'm now joined by Dr. Klaus Kuhnlein, who's in Vienna. Uh, Dr. Kuhnlein, many thanks for joining us. Why have you decided to reject established scientific theories surrounding AIDS and HIV? Because when I worked at the university in Kiel, I was witness of the mass intoxication of the patients with ACT. ACT was the first recommended treatment and we all know today that it was much too high in the dosage. We gave 1500 milligrams on a daily basis and that virtually killed everybody who took this treatment. And that is the reason why everybody believes that HIV is a deadly virus. But there is still no proof for this assumption. So you're saying that during the 90s, when this method of treatment was most widely used, you saw mass mistreatment of the patients involved? Yes. They were all over-treated at that time, and uh, the reason why the doctors didn't notice it was e easy to explain, because the placebo control was stopped already after four months. So after four months, it was said that for ethical reasons, nobody can be withhold of the ACT treatment and after this four weeks uh, four months the um, mortality rose tremendously in both groups but are you and saying I have seen then that the the mainstream scientific community has also not picked up on this that during the 90s patients were mistreated are you saying it's simply a fringe group of scientists such as yourself who've, who've picked up on this yeah, but uh, this mistreatment was the very reason why everyone believes that HIV is a deadly virus. And uh, the HIV positive test puts the, everybody now at uh, an equal risk, which is completely nonsense. So a uh, healthy pregnant mother today, an HIV positive pregnant mother, is told that she carries the same deadly virus as a hopeless uh, HIV uh, 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 drug, IV drug-inducing uh, junkie. So what are your arguments in Vienna? Is it purely the treatment, the traditional treatment of HIV AIDS that you disagree with or do you also dispute the accepted wisdom as to the main cause of AIDS? No, we dispute the, we dispute the cause of AIDS. The treatment nowadays is in some cases good for patients who really have chemical aids. That means in the gay community, those who are taking drugs and getting aids after years, they can have profit from the treatment which is given today. But that doesn't mean that it kills the virus, but this kills all bacteria and microbes which uh, bother these AIDS patients. So we cannot take this as a proof of the HIV hypothesis. And so, uh, just in a brief, uh, Dr. Kuhnlein, how do you respond to the majority of scientists and experts involved in the AIDS debate who disregard your position on the issue? Well, it's a pity that there is not a discussion between um, those two groups. So if they don't listen to each other, there can be no progress. Okay, Dr. Klaus Kuhnlein, medical practitioner specialising in HIV and AIDS. Many thanks for speaking to us from Vienna.